right triangle is one that has one 90 degree angle. In a right triangle, the side opposite of the 90 degree angle is called the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. The relationship between the sides of a right triangle are special. They're governed by the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Knowing this theorem allows you to figure out the length of a side if you are given at least two of the sides. On test day, there are going to be certain combinations of side lengths that appear more frequently. We call these Pythagorean triplets. You're going to want to memorize these triplets because it'll save you time on test day. The first triplet is a 3, 4, 5. The second triplet is a 5, 12, 13. When you see two side lengths of a right triangle that correspond to either of these triplets, you know immediately what the third side is without plugging it into Pythagorean theorem. Just remember that these triplets may appear in multiples. So instead of seeing 3, 4, and 5, you may see 9, 12, and 15 because each side length has been multiplied by a factor of 3. There are two other types of right triangles that have special properties. The first is called a 45, 45, 90 triangle. The 45, 45, and 90 refer to the angle measures of this triangle. This is going to be an isosceles right triangle. And when you see this particular set of angle measures, you're going to know that the side lengths have a relationship to each other. The sides opposite of the 45 degrees will be x and x, and then the side opposite of the 90 degrees, or the hypotenuse, will be x squared of 2. These ratios will help you solve the side lengths if you're given just one side length in a diagram. The second special right triangle is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Again, the 30, 60, and 90 refer to the angle measures of this triangle. Their sides also correspond to each other. The side opposite of the 30 degrees is x. The side opposite of the 60 degrees is x squared of 3, and the side opposite of the 90 degrees is 2x. So again, if you know just one side, you can plug it into the equation and solve for your two remaining sides.